we are dealing with uh, two key aspects which will uh, help us in assessing a particular strategy for an industry right uh, typically uh, yeah, as a part of uh, the industry uh, analysis uh, what kind of uh, strategy need to be uh, preferred for different kinds of uh, industries is basically uh, designed or is basically uh, 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 in accordance with <coughs> these two particular uh, aspects which we are uh, going to deal with now we call them as predictability and malleability these are the two words and uh, based on these two concepts we need to look at what kind of uh, strategy is uh, appropriate in terms of uh, forecasting or uh, what should be uh, the perspective of the industry uh, we can decide based on the understanding of these two key aspects associated with the industry so let's look at them when i use the word predictability as the word itself uh, is self-explanatory it says to what extent I can accurately predict the industry specific factors to what extent and for what time period there are two aspects in this what is the accuracy as well as for what time period I can predict <coughs> the industry specific factors like demand or uh, performance or market expectations any of these uh, industry specific uh, factors to what extent I can uh, predict and for what duration I can predict so for some industries it is uh, easy to predict the demand let's say for the next 10 years whereas in some industries where things keep uh, changing quite uh, drastically I may not be able to predict the demand for the next 10 years right so it changes from industry to industry so predictability is a characteristic which uh, talks about to what uh, extent and for how much duration i can uh, predict the industry characteristics similarly when i am saying malleability or sometimes people use the word called mutability it is the extent to which i can influence the above factors i means as a company one single company or a company along with a couple of competitors can influence the above factors can a company influence the demand can <coughs> can a company or one or two of its uh, competitors can influence the market expectations that is what is the malleability again there could be a few uh, industries where malleability uh, is very high whereas uh, it may be very low in a few of them so the corporate strategy which is getting designed it has to be based on these two uh, these two aspects so that's where we use the a kind of a matrix structure to understand the corporate strategy probably if i take uh, predictability on one dimension predictability on one dimension and i take malleability on the other right so low high predictability low and 